A rescue operation to save migrants in the night, like so many others. On board, they are adults, but also children. According to UNICEF, nearly 50 million children have been uprooted worldwide. They are crossing borders, some forcibly displaced, some are with their parents, but many are alone. In theory, these children have rights, but in practice, they are often ignored. Meeting in Strasbourg, the MEPs are sounding the alarm bell. For me, the children are not des migrants or des personnes en mouvement, ce sont avant tout des enfants et nous avons des responsabilités, des obligations beaucoup plus fortes à leur égard que donc à, à l'égard de qui que ce soit. C'est pas de la compassion dont, dont je parle là, c'est du respect des règles auxquelles nous avons souscrit. And in Europe these obligations are not being met. Children's admission procedures are rarely any faster than adults, frequent arbitrary detentions, too slow family reunification, too few relocations. In 2016, at the end of September, only 46 unaccompanied children had been relocated. What we need is action, not words. We, we've got to move from a position of, of, of just talking about it to um, understanding that it's action that's needed. Um, and the Commission needs to stop making excuses, needs to stop being so bureaucratic about it, need, you know, needs to take it, that's the point, needs to take action. We have structures, we have mechanisms. The tools exist, but even such a fundamental right as access to education is not always being respected. And yet Europe is far from being the continent that receives the most migrant children. Agreements between the EU and third countries that are meant to improve the management of migratory flows require increased control, the MEPs say. The situation is getting worse. Today, under 18-year-olds account for half the total number of refugees in the world.